If your book contains an index, you can choose between purchasing index creation or creating the index yourself. If you purchase index creation, you will need to provide a complete list of the items you would like us to include in your index. If you are creating the index yourself, please be sure you construct it in the way I'm about to discuss, or additional production charges could apply. To begin, find the first word you'd like to appear in your index and select it with your cursor. I'm going to select Adam Sultan. Then, simultaneously, press Alt, Shift, and X on your keyboard. This will bring up the Mark Index Entry dialog box. In this dialog box, you can enter how the entry should appear in your index. Since this first entry is a proper name, we would suggest entering it last name first. Under Options, select Current Page. Then at the bottom of the window, you have the option of selecting Mark or Mark All. If this is the only time in your manuscript that you want the entry indexed, click Mark. If you would like every instance of the entry indexed, click Mark All. For this example, I'm going to Mark All. You can then close the dialog box. If you're viewing your manuscript in Show Formatting Mode, you'll notice a script tag appear after your entry. It is important not to edit or delete these script tags, or the entry will not be included in your final index. If you view your manuscript in Hide Formatting Mode, these script tags will disappear. I'm going to keep working in Show Formatting Mode so we can see the entries get tagged as we go. Let's do a few more entries and then we'll create the final index. For the second entry, I'm going to select Empire Club and then enter Alt-Shift-X. When the dialog box pops up, I'm just going to click Mark All and Close. Now every instance of the term Empire Club will be indexed. Let's do one more entry. I'm going to select Southampton and enter Alt-Shift-X. Once again, I'm going to click Mark All and Close. Even though this is a pretty short index, let's pretend that we're finished marking our entries and we'll go to the end of the manuscript. Click where you want the index to appear. Then go to Insert, Reference, and Index and Tables. In the dialog box that pops up, you can select a general template for how your index will appear. We recommend the classic template. You can also enter how many columns you would like your index to be. We recommend two columns. Then click OK. Then you'll see the index in your manuscript. If you need to continue adding entries to your manuscript, you can update the index by clicking on it. When you click, you should see the index turn gray. Once it is gray, right-click with your mouse and select Update Field. It is important to never add, remove, or modify the text in the index itself, because anytime you update it, the changes will be lost. Instead, you will want to insert additional entries the way we've already covered, or remove them the following way. Let's pretend one of the Adam Salton entries, the one on page 11, needs to be removed. Rather than deleting the entry in the index itself, go to page 11 of your manuscript and make sure you are in show formatting mode so you can see the index script tags. Find the script tag you want to remove and delete it. Then go back to your index at the end of the manuscript. Right click on the index and select update field you'll notice that the entry on page 11 has been removed. If your index has been created this way, the fee for indexing may be waived. If your index has been created another way, there may be additional fees to have it reconstructed. If you are paying for index creation, here's a tip on how to submit your index list. Let's say, for example, that one of the entries in your index is Lincoln, Abraham. When submitting your list to us, we would prefer that you put any or all variations of the entry in parentheses after the entry. For this example, I'm going to include two variations, Abe Lincoln and President Lincoln. If you do not include these variations in parentheses, they may not be included in your index. Let's look at one more example. Let's say FBI is an entry in your index. For this example, you might want to put the following variations in parentheses, Federal Bureau of Investigations and F period, B period, I period. If you have any questions about your index, please don't hesitate to contact us at 1-888-728-8467. We'll be happy to talk about it with you.